It is perhaps what every political candidate fears the most. Not a scandal, not any silly investigation, certainly not being held accountable for what they say. They know, as does every strategist and every expert, that it's all about the image. And more often, it's about how you can take the heat, shake off the arrows, and not care one bit about any damage because you have the ability to maintain a solid image that will draw people to you like minions to a banana. Yes, that was a current reference. But can you insult a race of people, continue to believe in something that has been proven as nonsense by many, flip on political parties, still captivate a nation seeking a new president? Why not? Everybody has an opinion. Welcome back from the M Network in Miami, Florida. Publicist and branding specialist Thomas Moslem joins us. Tom, I'll tell you what, Donald Trump is a master at what he does, because say what you want, the man has an image, he sticks by it, and he will not waver. That makes a very successful image. Nobody plays the character of Donald Trump better than Donald Trump. There's no <laughs> doubt about it. He's, uh, he's spot on and consistent in what he does. But now, what does he do then? Here, here, image specialist now. We've had all this that has begun with the comments that he made about the Mexican immigrants. It has started yes. a conversation in America. A lot of people must like what he has to say because he's top of the polls. But he is taking heat for it. What do you do? Do you try and ameliorate that? Do you try to change yourself? I mean, what do you do then to try and maybe get some of those voters back? No, if I'm running the Donald Trump campaign or advising them, I tell them to double, triple, and quadruple down on this. This is great stuff. You've got 20-some weeks until Iowa. Uh, if he could come out with 21 outlandish things to say, newscasts like yours will devote precious minutes to him while his competition has to spend hundreds of thousands of dollars for the same airtime. No, this is a brilliant strategy and it works because when you think about what Donald Trump is doing right now, he is not beholden to donors. He is not beholden to a party. He could say and do anything he wants to get attention without worrying about, ooh, maybe they won't fund my campaign or maybe I'll turn off that special interest group or that corporate donor. No, no, he's a man on his own and he's going to get all the headlines he can. He's going to dominate the headlines until the primary start. And if you look at the image again, talking to somebody, you know as well as I do, we've both been in this situation before, advising someone who's looking for an image. He says, if I win, I will beat Hillary. If I am the nominee, I will get the Latino vote. Look, that's exactly what you want somebody to say. You don't want him to waver. You don't want him to say, I'm definitely going to back up. He is doing exactly, and not only that, he's doing what a lot of, I think, other candidates wish they could do. Get out there, spit out something just like that, stand by it and say, I dare you to go ahead and throw it back at me. Right. Take the punches, hang tough. And when you say, when you say, listen, this is what I want to do. This is my deal. I'm going to win the Latino vote even after I said all this stuff. You know why? Because I'm going to create the jobs that they're going to take. What a brilliant thing to say. What a great way to dive into that conversation. Look, you could hate me for what I say, but you're going to love me for the job I create. Now, this guy is doing marketing in a way that presidential politics haven't seen, but network television has, and that's why his show was highly rated. It wasn't because he's a brilliant businessman. It's because he's a great showman. All right, now let's go to the show. I'm glad you brought that up. Donald Trump is known worldwide. <laughs> I, for a minute there, I thought you were going to maybe bring up a T-shirt and said that you had one, that you were on The Apprentice at one time. But look, he's got that working for him. Millions of Americans know him as the guy that has fired celebrities, has gone after people, has been hard-nosed about it. So even if you look and say, well, a lot of people won't vote for him, wait a minute. Somebody will because they like that kind of a guy. They identify with the person they see on television. They don't see him as a politician. So that works for him. Everybody else on the GOP side is a politician. Donald is a lot more. He's got a lot more people thinking yeah, about it. Yeah, I mean, it's going to boil down to whether people who go, who, whether the primary voter, the person who is serious about go. politics and serious about their party, is going to take a flyer on Donald Trump. Right now, Trump is doing all the right things to stay in the news cycle. He's got name recognition and brand recognition more than anybody else. We're not spending our time talking about Bobby Jindal. That's not happening on this show. We're not going to get into a Scott Walker, is he the right candidate debate. We're, you've spent a good portion of your day talking about Donald Trump because he's doing the right things to be in the public attention. But is he good enough to win in primaries? Will people walk into voting booths and say, yeah, him versus, say, somebody safer like a Jeb Bush or a Marco Rubio, 
That's a mystery right now. That's going to have to vet out. We're going to have to see these guys debate and see what happens there, because I don't think the American public is going to back a guy who turns the race into a sideshow. But by the same token, if he could say things that are outlandish but resonate, yeah, he could go far into the primaries, no doubt about that. Welcome to the image again. You can say all the outlandish stuff you want, but as long as it resonates in the American people, remember, look, they remember those key little phrases, you're fired, and all those things that he says, and that sticks with people when they walk into ballot boxes as well. Mr. Moslem. Ed, why do you keep calling me? <laughs> because we wanted to see you for the wonderful attire that you have on Fridays. Thanks for dressing up today, big guy. Tom Maslumo, it's a pleasure. Talk to you soon. All right, here it comes to you now. Donald Trump rising in the polls. Would you vote for him? Go to NewsmaxPolls.com, cast your vote, let us know. And coming up next, a special political trumping bag.